the book of second kings there was a time there was famine in the land and the bible said that people were eating people were dying people were eating their fellow roman bread the word of god tells us about a woman that killed her son this woman killed her child in order to use her child and to feed the other ones and the bible makes us understand that even that one was not enough hunger in the land that led a woman to give her own child but until the day the word of the lord came and i am believing god almighty that his word is coming for somebody today in jesus name amen when the word of god come to a man concerning a situation when the word of god come over a man over a nation over a situation everything change follow me as we go to the book of second kings Second Kings chapter seven. For the Lord, Hallelujah. Then Elisha said, Then Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word. Thus said the Lord, the Lord. Thus said the Lord God. To where about this time? To where about this time? A measure of pine flour be sold for a shekel of for a shekel. Yes. Two measures of barley for a shekel. Yes. In the gate of Samaria. Yes. Sons. The Bible said that God decided to believe what He said. For God to believe what he said, God decided to use temple. For God to believe what he said, God decided to use temple. That child of God, do you know that God can use a mad person for you? Yes. That child of God, do you know that God can use a slave for you? Yes. That child of God, do you know that for God, not to believe what he said, God can decide to use your enemies. I said that in life, enemies and the friends they are very very important you know some people they pray they say they don't like enemy some people say they don't want enemy but i discovered that in life you need enemy just as you need friends because there are many things in your life your friend will pity you they will not be able to carry it through it is your enemy god will use there are some things in life god will like to teach you and your friends cannot be able to carry out that assignment because they do love you. That is why God makes sure that your enemy will stay with you 24 hours. And there is nothing you can do to kill all your enemies because they are very, very important to you in life. When a man is living in a life without an enemy, he becomes a foolish person. Enemies make us wise. He makes us wiser. Enemy makes us to be wiser. To be wise in living in this crooked world. When a man living a life without enemy, he is nobody. I don't want to live a life without having enemy. I want to live a life that I will have many enemies. In a name that is above every other name, you will live above your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. God decided to use four letters in order to fulfill what he said. There is that prophecy that went ahead concerning your life. There is that word God showed you. There is that vision God revealed to you in a dream. There is that dream you have. There is that thing they told you in the name of the Lord. And since they told you that word up to now, you are asking, oh, how can this thing come to pass? I want you to know that God will figure it out. Amen. 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 The Bible said that God decided to say through his servant that tomorrow this problem will be done. Stop looking at number of years you have been in sorrow. Stop looking at number of years your problem has lasted. Stop looking at how many years your situation has lasted. Can you be able to look on God and know that God can do something new? God can do something new over that situation. God can do something wonderful. Somebody can say, this problem has lasted for two years. This problem has lasted for ten years. You can count days. You can count years. But when God comes, you will not count you. You cannot count days. When God comes, you will not count days. In the name of Christ, Son of the living God, God will give you miracles that you will forget your days of sorrow. Amen. That will make you to forget your days of affliction. Amen. That will make you to forget your years of lack. Amen. Of Jesus. Amen. Somebody miracle is coming 
I don't know that person that had this testimony by this time today. I don't know that person that can believe this testimony by this time tomorrow. God can do what you did not imagine in your life. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Let me pray for you. Lift up your right hand wherever you are. One thing led me to be coming here. Because anytime I come here, when I'm looking at you, I'm not seeing a poor person. I am not seeing a poor people. I am seeing a wealthy rich people. I am seeing people that can do school for their community. I am seeing people that can pay the rent for the poor people. I am seeing people that can raise foundation for, for less privilege. Lift up your right hand. This hand that is lifting up right now. In the name that is above every other man. I connect this hand to God Almighty. Amen. May God Almighty lift this hand higher in Jesus' name. Amen. My name shall it, may you be lifted up. Amen. Amen. For the sake of poor people that are walking around the street, may God bless you. Amen. Whenever I see children that are supposed to be in school selling pure water, tears begin to come out of my eye. For the sake of those poor people, those poor children, may God bless you. Amen. May God commit wealth into your hands. Amen. May God commit material resources into your hands. Amen. May God bless you in such a way you become a blessing. Amen. May your blessing be beyond your family. Amen. May the blessings of God in your life be beyond your needs. Amen. May God give you blessing that will terminate your soul. Amen. And also remember poor people by your side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody here through you, poor people will rejoice. Amen. Somebody here through you, many children will go to school. Amen. Somebody here through you, many hospitals will be, will be paid. Amen. Somebody here through you, gospel will be preached. Amen. Don't tell me that you don't have anybody to help you. You have God. Amen. Somebody you have God. Amen. Somebody you have God. Amen. Do you have God? Yes. Can God help you? Yes. Can He help you? Yes. Somebody can God help you? Yes. Because God can help you, may God help you. Amen. Amen. God will bless you in such a way you'll be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Because I believe God very soon, you will raise foundation for poor people. Amen. You can go to a place and pay all the school fees of those students. Amen. Amen. That is what God wants us to be. The Lord is there to open hand. I will bless you and thou shalt be a blessing. Every day when I wake up in the morning, I know I'm a blessing to my generation. 24 hours, I know I'm a blessing. Let me tell you, you are a blessing to this generation. Amen. The family into this world is not in vain. Mm-hmm. It's not by mistake. There is one need God wants to use you to solve. There is one problem God wants to use you to solve. In the name of Christ, Son of the Living God, may money never disgrace you. Amen. 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 May your lack be terminated today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. According to the word of God, by the mouth of a man of God, he said by this time tomorrow, all this problem will be over. I said the same thing here. By this time tomorrow, may the Lord terminate your trouble. Amen.